What's up guys and welcome to episode 11 of Bonnie Inku's Blood Rage painting series. Today we're painting the second patron selected miniature of the month, the Dwarf Chieftain. To start things off, I base coat his cloak with medium blue. I then give that cloak a wash using a one tone mix of Prussian blue and soft body black. This mix was essentially the same as Citadel's Drakenhof Nightshade. After that wash had fully dried, I reestablished the mint tones on the cloak using medium blue, and then used a three row mix of medium blue and electric blue to add a couple edge highlights followed by some more extreme highlights using those same two colors but in a 1 to 1 ratio. Then for the fur, I gave it a base coat of light gray, followed by a wash of soft body black. After that wash had fully dried, I reestablished the mid-tone using light gray, followed by some highlights with light gray and dead white in a 1 to 1 ratio. Now one quick thing I want to mention is, is I could have done this with some dry brushing, but I didn't feel like it would look quite as good on this miniature. So I decided to do this with a fine detail brush instead, which I think turned out looking a lot better. After that, I then moved on to his little beard by first base coating it with dead white, followed by a wash of sepia ink. I then applied a couple layers of dwarf skin to get a solid base coat on all the skin, followed by a wash of Reichland Flesh Shade.
After that washed and dried, I applied a one to one mix of elf skin tone and dwarf skin to all the details of the skin that I wanted to highlight, blending it together with some two brush blending on some of the larger areas to get some nice smooth transitions. After that, I used Elf Skin Tone to apply some brighter highlights, once again, blending it together with a little bit of two brush blending. I then used a 3 to 1 mix of hot orange and whole red to base coat his sleeves. I then blended on various layers of hot orange to create some highlights. Then for the shield, I applied a base coat of whole red, followed by a one to one mix of whole red and elf skin tone to the upper half to create some highlights. I then base coated the axe handle with some ochre brown and the boots with some BC brown and then washed them both down with some Agrax Earthshade. Then after that wash had dried, I highlighted the axe again with some ochre brown and the boots with beastie brown.
I then base coated the head of the axe, the belt emblem, and the middle part of the shield using model air steel. I then applied a couple layers of Nolan oil to darken things down and bring out some of those details, followed up with some modular steel to blend things together and make it look real nice. I then base coated that large chest piece and the dragon on his shield using brass and then applied a wash of smoky ink to the brass areas and all the silver parts to make it look kinda dirty and then came back and finished up the gold by applying an initial highlight of polished gold and then some final highlights using a one to one mix of polished gold and model air steel. I then of course finish things off by painting the base black. And there you have it guys, the Dwarf Chieftain is now complete. Which means we only have two more models left until the entire Blood Edge Core box is complete. If you've been enjoying these tutorials and are finding them helpful and are interested in helping pick out which models are coming up next, Getting additional painting help and interacting with other awesome miniature painters like yourself, head on over and join us on Patreon. We've recently set up a Discord server and have been having a great time getting to know each other better, sharing our works in progress and helping each other out, and just having a great time. So if that sounds like something that you'd enjoy, come on over and join the fun. Thanks again for joining guys, I hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll see you on the next one. Dolph Chieftain complete, Bunder out! <laughs>